Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful lace closure wig. So please keep watching. So the hair I'll be using is this Brazilian body wave hair and I'll be using the lengths 12, 14 and 16 with a 12 inch closure. I'll be linking all the information to this hair in the description box. I want to start off by saying that this hair is not a high quality hair. It has a lot of flyaways and it is also very thin. However, the price is extremely affordable so we don't really have anything to complain about. We can still make it work. So I'm starting off by pinning down my lace closure onto my dome cap and I'm pulling the lace closure in front of the dome cap. So I'm not making the hairline of the lace closure be in line with the edge of the dome cap. I'm pulling the hairline a little bit over the dome cap. And I want to apologize for the lighting right here. I didn't realize it was so dark until I started editing. So I'm so, so sorry for that, guys. So very sorry. Anyways, it will get a bit lighter after about a minute or so. Now I'm sewing on the lace closure to the dome cap. And you want to make sure that you don't sew through the elastic band that's going around the cap. You only sew through the fabric section of it. So when you're sewing on the closure to the cap, you just want to make sure that you keep it stretched at all times, keep it smooth, that there are no packs underneath it. Now I'm going in with the first bundle of hair and this is a 16 inch bundle. So I'm starting this at one end of the closure and I'm sewing it from that end going all around to the next end of the closure. So I start off sewing the hair to the cap by making a knot through the weft and this is to secure the hair onto the cap. So about the first three times that I sew through the hair, I do it going through the weft and then afterwards I go underneath the weft. So as you guys can see what I'm doing here, I know it's not so clear but I just keep going underneath the weft after I've secured the hair onto the cap and I still do not sew through the elastic band of the cap. And guys, please ignore these red marks on my hand. I was swatching lipsticks and I just could not seem to get them completely off. I've washed it with soap, I've removed it with oil, and for some reason there's just still that trace of lipstick stains on my hand. So I had like my entire hand filled with lipstick swatches and yeah, this is the result. Now after installing the 16 inch bundle, I'm going in with the 14 inch and after that I'll be putting in the 12 inch so that it has sort of a layered look even before I go in and cut it. I'm just taking a pair of scissors and cutting off the excess dome cap from underneath the lace closure and you want to be very gentle and careful while doing this so you don't cut the thread. Next I'm going in and cutting off the excess lace and then I'm going to be stitching this little slit that you're seeing right here together so that it closes it up. Now I'm tweezing it a little to define my part and I'm going into the hairline and tweezing that a little bit so that it looks a bit more natural.
Now I'm going in and giving it a layered cut before styling. Like I said before, this hair is very thin so I needed to cut a few inches off and shape it in a style that it wouldn't show that at the end and that it would look a lot fuller. Now I'm using this flat iron to curl the hair and I'm curling the hair away from the face. And next I'm going in with a holding spray so that the curls will last a little bit longer. And I'm curling the hair in very large sections because I want sort of a looser wavy curl. install this hair to my head I'm just going in first and adding a little bit of setting powder to my stocking caps that are on my head and then I'm just dragging this hair onto my head like literally in five seconds it's fully onto my head and in place and yeah as you guys can see it's sitting pretty snug to my head there is no need to add an elastic band or any glue or anything to hold this in place it's pretty secure to my head doing the curls at the front of my head as I have the hair on my head I realized that I wanted the curls to fall in a different direction so I'm just curling them down the side of my face instead almost finished but there is a lot of hair sticking out at the top of my head as you guys can see because like I said to you guys this is a pretty cheap quality hair so it tends to have a lot of flyaway hairs at the top sticking out so I'm just going in with my holding spray and spraying that and then I'm using my hand to flat it down and there's still a piece that is very stubborn and didn't decide to go down after spraying it so I had to go in with my scissors and just cut that off now I'm just going in with my concealer and I'm using this very fine brush to just outline my parting. Now this is it for this hair tutorial and I'm really loving how this hair came out. It looks so natural. The hair quality and texture just looks like it's my natural hair. This is me now taking it overboard, thinking that this is a frontal, trying to pull it back and no, <laughs> it's just not working like that. But anyways, this is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and if you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And stay tuned guys, I have a lot of new videos in store for you all. And thank you so, so much again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Oh,